Harbinger is a startup vehicle manufacturer. They're based in Los Angeles, California, and they were founded in 2021. They're building a flexible, all-electric commercial vehicle platform for the medium-duty market, and we're gonna check it out here at CES. It's pretty interesting stuff. Harbinger is focusing solely on the medium duty segment from class four to about class seven with weight ratings from 16,000 up to 29,500 pounds. And they feel this is a market that is underserved, which is why they are going after it. This chassis will be offered with four different wheelbase lengths from 158 inches up to 208 inches. Similarly, four battery capacities are going to be on the menu. 70 kilowatt hours on the low end, up to 175 kilowatt hours with 35 kilowatt hour increments in between. And in a class five application, they're estimating those batteries will get you between 85 and up to 205 miles of range. So pretty decent numbers. Now, longevity and durability are critical for medium duty applications and they have built that right into this chassis. And as you can see, these C-channel frame rails are absolutely huge and the gauge of steel is super thick. So they're targeting a 15 to 20 year service life with these vehicles and 450,000 miles. Now, while we're at the rear of this chassis, I've got to point out the suspension design. It's actually a, an old school configuration, something called a Dedeon tube that was popular in the early 1900s. And that provides an important benefit in this application because it eliminates a lot of unsprung mass. You're mounting the motor and the gearbox directly to the frame rather than suspending those from the springs that improves ride and handling. Plus it provides a couple other benefits. They've eliminated the high point gear set so there's a lot less friction in here. Plus there's no need for a prop shaft so they've got a lot more space for batteries. And just to be clear, Harbinger is only building the chassis. They're going to work with an established network of upfitters and bodybuilders that will provide the vehicle, the actual top hat that sits on the frame. Anyway, speaking of the chassis, it is motivated by this assembly right here. This includes a permanent magnet electric motor that is oil cooled and that provides 470 horsepower and more than 1100 pound feet of torque. Now this assembly, which was developed by Harbinger engineers done in house, also incorporates the reduction gear set we talked about a little bit earlier. Surprisingly, the Harbinger chassis is also fitted with an independent front suspension, which is something you basically never see on medium duty trucks, and it should provide dramatically improved ride and handling, which is great news for drivers that are in these big vehicles for many hours every day. Additionally, there is steer by wire with a variable ratio setup. So basically at low speeds, you can go lock to lock in about one turn. And then of course it loosens up significantly when you're out on the highway at higher speeds. So you don't sneeze and then change over six lanes. That would be bad. So Chrissy here is one of the main development engineers at Harbinger and she's behind the wheel right now. And this van feels incredibly maneuverable for something this gigantic and a little bit rattly, so forgive all of the noise. Um, the steering ratio is super quick, which makes this vehicle feel a lot nimbler and more manageable than you might ever expect for a medium duty vehicle. Also, there's that independent front suspension, which we don't have big bumps in this parking lot here. There are no ruts or anything like that, potholes, but it does seem to ride quite smoothly for what it is. All right, she's accelerating. The van moves quite well when she gets on the pedal there, and we're doing 51, 54, 55 kilometers per hour right now, so north of 30 miles an hour, and it is a bit noisy in here. I hope you can hear me okay. But um, the van feels very smooth for something this big and, of course, this rugged. Remember, they're targeting a 15 to 20 year lifespan with this vehicle, 450,000 miles. It's built to last. It's very heavy duty, yet it still seems pretty comfortable. 
Unfortunately, I have no official pricing information to share, but Harbinger tells me there will be zero acquisition premium for their product compared to conventional combustion-powered medium-duty chassis. As for availability, the first vehicles will start arriving in customer hands in 2023, production will ramp up in 24, and then of course it will really hit its stride in 25. Next, watch our full review of the Ford E-Transit commercial van. We put this vehicle through the ringer in cold weather with a full payload to see what happens to the range, and we were pretty surprised, and I think you will be too.